Hey my friends, this is Nick Logan and uh, I was just sitting in front of my computer doing the things I do on a daily basis. My brain started getting a little fuzzy, I was getting a little bit overwhelmed and I'll, I always know when that happens I need to walk away from my computer, get some uh, exercise, take a walk, whatever, just kind of clear my mind. And that's kind of what I want to talk about today. If you uh, are an entrepreneur or an online business person or someone that you know, um, works from home, uh, I have some tips that I want to share with you today. Uh, anytime I have some, some valuable knowledge that I've learned from the past, I like to share it with my community and the people that come to my community, my blog. Um, some of the things that I've learned over the last couple years, um, I started marketing online about two and a half years ago. I bought a whole bunch of uh, you know tutorials and products and software and all these different things. I, at the beginning, I was very, uh, you know, I was just thirsty for that knowledge. Um, after a couple of years of learning and, and trying some different strategies, it, it, it comes time to take action. But when you have all this information coming at you, with the internet we can have any information we want, all we got to do is search on Google. Um, it's important to kind of really organize and figure out what are the highest profitable action steps. And some tips that I've, I've learned uh, have really stepped up my game tenfold over the last you know, couple months really. I learned some some strategies from Eben Pagan. I took his uh, Wake Up Productive program, learned a strategy from Brian Tracy, and I want to share that with you in this blog on how to really organize, get profitable, clear your mind, clear your mind of all that clutter, clear your life with all that clutter. And I want to share some of those tips with you today and just basically tell you what I do on a daily basis. Every day I wake up at a certain time, my schedule is a little bit random, so it may be a, a, a different time in a different state or a different time in, uh, you know, j just depending on what my schedule is. But I, I set that time and I stick to it. I wake up at that specific time, I have a ritual. It's a, according to Evan Pagan, it's a 30 day success ritual. And once you get past that 30 days, it just becomes part of your life. But it's my highest recommendation that you try it for yourself. Um, all these different strategies that I'm going to share with you in this blog and in this video have have made me extremely productive. So it only takes 45 minutes to an hour in the morning. You wake up a little bit earlier. We all have the same amount of time in the day. And what I do is basically I'm just following this model. I wake up, I grab a glass of water, hydrate myself, I go brush my teeth, uh, you know, do the things that you got to do to 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 you know prepare yourself in the morning. I then immediately start an exercise routine. I have all my clothes ready to go in the morning, I ready, ready to go. And one little tip that I, you know, I'll share in the blog is I use this little device right here. It really uh, makes my workouts a little bit more efficient. And uh, so I, I work out for a half hour, 45 minutes, sometimes an hour, just depends on what, what I, what I want to do. I do that quick workout and I find that when I work out first thing in the morning I have the energy throughout the rest of the day. Uh, and then I come back and I learn this concept from Brian Tracy. Um, I write out my 10 goals every single day that I want to accomplish this year. And Brian Tracy says that the people, he did a study on it, the people that write out those 10 goals and do this every day have obliterated those goals and moved on to uh, other, other goals, bigger and better things. So it just re refreshes what is really important to you in your mind. So part of my ritual is writing down those 10 goals. And you know what? I used to avoid this like the plague because it's like, hey man, I got to get to work. I got to get productive. But I find that by doing these steps, I am way more productive. I have a ton more energy uh, throughout my day. Uh, the, in addition to that, part of my success ritual is I uh, take a protein shake, blueberry protein shake uh, every day. That gives me a ton of energy. And then I, I meditate for 10 minutes. I had the hardest time with this for a long, long time. Um, meditation, just sitting there and concentrating on your breathing. Now I'm getting more and more comfortable with it. It's, uh, you know, I'm telling you, just this one hour every single day makes me 10 times more productive. So there's other, other tips there. Uh, in addition to the goals, um, I write out, and this is what I learned from Evan Pagan as well, creating an emotional tie, an emotional anchor to those goals. Now, if your goal is to make a lot of money, that's, there's no emotional tie to that. But if your goal is, like mine, spend nine months in an RV traveling to warm climates and three months in Michigan where I'm originally from and spending that quality time with family, that has an emotional tie. So I remind myself of those three emotional, 
you know, those emotional ties to my specific goals. Um, for now, that's a pretty good start, but there's a lot more information in this blog, in the wording of this blog, of exactly what I do daily. Um, now, as far as marketing and, and that sort of thing, all the tips and tricks that I've learned, I've compiled into a separate blog. That's empoweredtribe.com. So if you, you know, if you find yourself you're you're in that learning phase where you, you know, you might not know exactly what to do, but you know there's a ton of people out there making money online. I put together a, a special blog about that as well, and that's at empoweredtribe.com. So um, I just want to share those efficiency strategies that I use daily. And uh, I just find that getting a little bit exercise, get a little bit of meditation, writing down my goals, that's the first part of my day, getting some hydration, that sets me off for a successful day. And if, you know, what you find is, is if you skip a day and you eat a donut first thing in the morning, the rest of your day is kind of shot. And that's all right. But if you, you know, don't, don't beat yourself up too bad, the rest of the day is shot, start over the next day. But your mind already says, hey, I already screwed up, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go eat crap all day. I'm not going to exercise today. And it works in reverse too. So if you start that day with that success ritual, whatever your success ritual is, the rest of your day is going to be successful as well because you don't want to eat that donut at 10 o'clock because you've already been good. So hopefully that makes sense. Read the rest of the post if you like what I'm saying. Retweet it to your friends. Make a comment. Love to hear what you do uh, on a daily basis. If you have any questions on how to create a success ritual, leave a comment and I'd be happy to reply. You guys have a great day.